Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I wanted to share my experience getting lip filler for the very first time. So I went about two weeks ago to get a little bit of lip filler. Um, I had been talking about it for over two years and I finally decided to go and have it done. And I think the difference for me now was that the fillers that are available there's more of a variety and so you could choose something that maybe gave a little bit of a softer look because my purpose wasn't to have bigger lips or larger lips or change my face really in any way but you know at 57 I was starting to really be bothered by those vertical lip lines you know now that it's 2020 and there are lots of different fillers for lots of different purposes I looked into which ones were best for getting rid of those little lip lines not necessarily plumping up your lips that much and the one that I decided on was Valbella and let me put up this little um, graphic that I found it was on the American Board of Cosmetic Surgery website it has little call outs for each part of the face and what you want to accomplish there so they recommend a different kind of filler for plumping the lips versus the kind of filler for smoothing vertical lip lines so my choices pretty much were Valbella, Bellatero, or Restylane Silk. So I made an appointment with my normal provider that I go to for fillers and Botox. That is Dr. Joseph Russo's office. He's a plastic surgeon who's located in Newton, Massachusetts. So I made an appointment, went in to see Mindy. So Mindy and I talked about what I wanted to accomplish with my lips. She recommended the same filler that I was already thinking that I needed which was Valbella, so that's the one I got. And Valbella, like most fillers, is a hyaluronic acid filler. And hyaluronic acid is a substance that our bodies make naturally. It's a big component of our skin. And so there's very little risk of having an allergic reaction to it or of rejecting the filler. But if it doesn't come out right or there's something wrong, you can have it dissolved. Hyaluronic acid filler is dissolvable. The other thing about hyaluronic acid is that it's a precursor to to collagen production so when you have it injected it actually increases collagen production locally wherever you have it injected so not only will I be getting the little bit of plumping in the wrinkles right now but also it'll help to produce collagen in that area over time while I was in there I also got my Dysport touched up Dysport is another version of Botox and I get that in my forehead and around my crow's feet so you'll notice in the footage that I look like I've been attacked by a swarm of angry bees that's because she did that stuff first then she went in and did my lips after and when she's injecting it you'll hear me ask her like how much she's putting in I think she says point one over here and point one over here so she used point two for my upper lip so less than a quarter of a syringe and for my bottom lip I think she used the quarter of a syringe so point one two point one two over here but the lip filler is supposed to last for up to 12 months all right so let me bring in all the vlogging footage now then we'll go ahead and do the before and after pictures Hey you guys, I'm here at the doctor's office going in to get the lip injections done. So yeah, you can see that my lip wrinkles are pretty noticeable in regular light. And you know, I'm not a smoker. I know people call them smokers lines, but I don't think you have to smoke to have them because, you know, watch my lip when I talk. <laughs> it's a thousand muscles in here that make your lip smile and do everything else. So anyway, about to go in and get it done. I'm a little nervous that it's going to hurt because the lips are so sensitive, but wish me luck. All right, I'm in the office and I've got this numbing cream on. Isn't that pretty? Um, but yeah, it's already starting to feel nice and numb. So good. You know, I was worried about that it was going to hurt. And so yay, hopefully this is going to feel like nothing. This is a thin molecule, so it, mm -hmm. you can 
see already how it just smooths it right out. So how much are you using? So, so far that's 0.1. Okay. So I usually put the same amount in both sides mm -hmm. initially, and then, and then we tweak it, you know, as needed, because not everybody's lips are symmetric. Mm -hmm. always cracks me up when people reach inside your I know right <laughs> face get to know each other very well <laughs> yeah. quickly right yes it's very pretty so like I said this doesn't take a lot of water on but it will smooth these little fine lines out mm -hmm. plus hyaluronic acid you know it's very hydrating and It's a good thing for that numbing stuff because that even hurts without the yes, numbing stuff. And there is um, lidocaine in these products mm -hmm. once you get the product in it really I try and start injecting early mm -hmm. so that the product gets ahead of the needle I just noticed I have my jaw clenched so tight <laughs> Now I'm prone to um, cold sores. Should I take oh, okay. some? Okay. Yeah. Do you have the Valtrex? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I would definitely um, take that. Okay. They're very stoic. Hmm. It's beautiful. All right, so I'm back in the car. I just left the office. My lips are still feeling really, really numb. So right now it's starting to swell. Um, she was trying to figure out if I needed to use the rest of it anywhere, but she was like, eh, now it's swelling. So you can't really just be chasing the swelling. So we decided to just leave it because I don't want it to <laughs> look unnatural. I just really wanted to smooth out these lip lines. So hopefully that is what is going to happen. I mean, I think they look nice right now. They don't look unnatural and like they don't belong on my face. So, okay, good. I'm happy. All right, hi, you guys. I am just back from the doctor's office. So anyway, I just wanted to show you what they look like about an hour and a half afterwards. It is starting to like hurt a little bit at the injection site, like right there where she stuck the needle in and right there where she stuck the needle in. This side definitely hurts more than this side, but um, I think my lips look normal, so I could go about my day. It's not like they're bruised or puffing up just yet or looking like super filled. Okay, hi, I'm back. It's 5.30 now, and I feel like my lips are starting to swell and look a bit larger and they hurt. <laughs> Ow. It's not like it hurts every minute but when I talk or try to eat or drink something that's when it hurts. So I actually just spent like three hours trying to eat lunch <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. The skin feels really tight because they're starting to swell. All right so let me just show you up close what it looks like. big right <laughs> I did ice them once already and I think I'm gonna put some ice on it again just to kind of try to keep them from swelling up too much good morning it's about 9 30 the day after I got the lip filler so just wanted to check in on it with you today um, it is much less painful today than it was last night when I couldn't even eat or drink anything and I also had the dribble situation going on basically in order to drink I had to stick my tongue over my lower lip to put a glass up there because my lower lip hurt um, but this morning um, it's much more comfortable brushing my teeth was a little uncomfortable uh, now I've had breakfast I was able to eat like a normal person 
Um, I've taken two more valcyclovirs to avoid any um, cold sores popping up. Uh, I feel like the swelling has gone down a little bit. I do have a lip balm on and so I feel like they look a little like bigger and shinier than like yesterday when I didn't have lip balm on when I photographed them so I should probably blot this off. They're more comfortable today. I still can feel more of like a deep, you know, soreness but only when I move my lips a certain way. Uh, definitely see that there's going to be a bruise here and here. I have been putting on Arnica gel. You know, I put it on last night before I went to bed and yesterday evening and put it on some this morning. So trying to, uh, and it hurts when you touch them. So um, you don't want anyone even near you for like a quick smooch because ow, even just putting a tissue up onto them to wipe off the lip gloss hurts. Yeah, they're still just very tender and a little bit sore, but I feel like the swelling is coming down. They're starting to look more like my actual lips. Last night I went to the movies with my friend. I went into the bathroom, looked up at myself and, you know, was kind of like, oh, those lips. And they were really poofy. And I was like, hmm, those are actually kind of nice. I actually like those. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot to do the check-in this morning to show you what the lips looked like. Um, yeah, I was going to maybe put some makeup on <laughs> at some point during the day and then do the check-in. Uh, but I forgot. I got busy cleaning out my closets. And so now it's I don't even know what time it is, 7.30 p.m., and I'm just remembering. Anyway, they look fairly normal today. I just have a bruise here and a bruise here, and other than that, the swelling has gone down. All right, it's time for a lip filler check-in. Today is Monday. I had it done on Friday, so it's been two, three days, three sleeps. I don't know, whatever. Um, and so here's how it's looking today. The bruises are getting a little bit smaller today, but you can definitely see that one there and that one over there. Um, there's a little bit of one here and a little bit of one here. And every day they get uh, less and less sensitive. So yesterday they didn't really hurt at all unless I made the mistake of like pressing my lips together. So you know when you put on lip gloss and then you go like mm -hmm, to press your lips together? Ooh, and I did that it hurt a little bit. But today, Mm, yeah, I still does. It's very sensitive, like right along the edge where the needle, you know, goes in there and then they drag it back. So I was thinking maybe I'd put on like a nice opaque liquid lipstick to like hide the bruises. So this is a really lightweight lip paint that lasts and lasts and lasts. It's from L'Oreal. Yeah, so you could definitely put on lipstick, leave the house, go out and about without people thinking you know, what's, what's happened? Why does her lip have a blue spot in it? All right, here are the lips on Wednesday. So five days out. In two days, it'll be a full week. Good morning. Today is the ninth day with the new lips. I haven't recorded anything uh, updates on them since last Wednesday because nothing was really happening. The bruises were still pretty visible. Um, today was the first day that when I put on my morning lip balm and pressed my lips together like this, that it didn't hurt as much. So the last bruise is this one that is yet to go away. Uh, this one is still pretty tiny, but you know, my lips have a lot of blue in them anyway. So I feel like I can go around like without lip gloss. There is still a little bump here, right where the bruise is. And I feel like that's more visible when I have lipstick on. All right, lip filler, 16 days out.
Looking at the before and after pictures, I am definitely pleased with the result. I think it looks great. I think it's really a subtle change, but it does make a big difference in those little lip wrinkles. I can't say that it erased them completely and that they're not there at all because, of course, they are those kind of wrinkles that were etched in over 57 years of talking and getting sun damage. So they're really hard to get rid of. And I don't feel like my lips are like super big and look unnatural. They look bigger or smaller depending on what kind of lipstick or what kind of lip plumper I'm using or what kind of lip gloss I'm using. And I kind of like that, that I can, you know, if I just leave them naked, they look normal like they haven't been filled, but I can actually pump up the volume if I, you know, try to do some tricks with lipstick, overline them a little bit, put on a nice lip gloss. They tend to look a lot bigger and puffier. But overall, I am, you know, pretty happy with this experience. I'm happy with the results. So I would give it a two thumbs up on the lip filler. So that is it for today's video, everybody. I hope you found it helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell while you're down there. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.